granite stone to QVC with their 10 and 12 inch pans with lids. This is diamond cookware. What? The hardness of diamonds in this nonstick? Well, yes, we're going to tell you all about it. You're going to get a 10 and a 12 inch in this brand new skillet set. You're going to get it all for $49 and change and on six easy payments because, as Stacey mentions, everything in our show today is six easy payments. This is six payments of $8.33. In fact, it's the only day this month on six pay, and the price in easy pay will go away at end of day today. Chef Tony Nataro is back with us. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, David. You bring us this granite stone cookware. Tell us about this. Absolutely. So, granite stone is one of the best non sticks you're going to cook on. They've been cooking on granite for thousands of years. And then the diamond is what brings the hardness and also the non stick to it. So, here I have six eggs, David. I call this the egg dance. They just glide around that pan from the sides all the way to the Anything center. In that pan other than the no eggs? oils, no butter, fats, or grease. Although you can use it if you want for flavor. Right. But you don't need it for sticking. So I'm going to take these eggs and I'm going to flip them right out there so you can see how simple it is. And in that pan, David, let's do some chocolate chips. Let's do some marshmallows. Oh. And let's really check out the non stick ability. Okay. That's the 10 inch, which comes with the lid. Love it. Here's our 12 inch, and I'm going to show you two different versions. So, you know, usually they say that you can't get a great sear in a non stick pan. I just want you to look at both sides. You can see how caramelized that steak is. So, top to bottom, and what's cool about this, you can sear about a minute and a half on each side, and then take this entire pan right to the oven, David. So, let me take these steaks. I made a serving for you. But that's okay. You don't mind if I give you both, do you? <laughs> that's a David size serving. My word. <laughs> you and me. Of you and me. There you, you go. Me. Better, better. All right. So you got two beautiful steaks. Look how golden, or excuse me, how perfectly seared those are, and how uh, how delicious those are because everything in this pan happens with great heat conductivity. So you have even heat distribution. But now Chef is going to make a little sauce with some mushrooms here and some red wine. We'll Looks do like a, a nice pan stock. sauce, yeah. beef stock in there. Hit that one a little bit. And we'll give that a quick shake. We're going to let that render down. Mm -hmm. Let me come over here and then I'm going to get to the oven real quick. So let's take this lid and put it here. Now, David, this is one of my favorite recipes. I love this in the summer because all of the beautiful seafoods that are coming out, this takes less than 20 minutes to make from scratch. Okay. So you have a tomato chunk base on the bottom. I add all of my seafood and again, you can see Look at the high wall, too. That's got almost a four quart capacity. That's amazing. Can we go over here for a second, guys? I'm going to leave that on for one I'll second, David. Okay. Yep. Let's just actually, no, Let's I want to take this. this over this. Let's take it over. Let's serve it over some crusted uh, grilled bread. Crusty grilled bread. Oh. Tell me that's not beautiful. Beautiful. Let's add a little bit of basilic oil, or what we call basil. <laughs> Watch this, David. Look at the cleanup. Soapy water in a sponge. Sure you can put that? it in the dishwasher. Wipe out. Wipe out. I can still pay that beat. Can you? I sure can. <laughs> so. Now, in the pan, we go with salmon. Now, salmon is one of those things that we, that we love to cook, but can, can uh, stick and break your heart. That's correct, unfortunately. But if you notice, I'm doing a presentation side down. So we're going to put the body side down. We're going to start that to grill. I'm going to place that in here. Notice I didn't put any oil, fats, or butters. We're going to turn the heat up on that one. Let's get our fajitas out, and then we're going right to the oven. Let me grab my towel here. The handle sometimes can get hot on the stove top. I just want you to see, nothing sticks. Easy to saute and turn out. Mm. We'll place these right here, David. Can oh, you put some scallions it. on that for Happy me? Happy to. Maybe a little bit of cheese. Mm. Let's do the cheese first. The cheese on here, then scallions. Beautiful. Nice. Now that's a meal right there. Oh, my word. Love it. And again, clean up. Watch this, everybody. Just going to give the pan a wipe. All the grease, all the fat, all the lard, rend it off, finished. One quick one, and then I got to get to the oven. Now, we're, we've already got chocolate chips and strawberries melting in one. Now we're going to melt cheese in another. This is all kind of old school. We used to do these demos a long, long time ago to show you about nonstick. <laughs> But Absolutely. you know what? They, even though the demos are old school, they're still relevant today. Because any good nonstick, you need to be able to punish it and have it keep turning out the food or releasing the food. And that's what's happening here. You did a deep dish pizza. Deep dish pan pizza, really Love simple it. to do. We're going to take that one and put it right here for everybody to watch and see. Let me actually grab my spatula. We'll help pull this out of the pan. There we go. 
but look at the pan. That's what's cool about this. I also noticed you took a metal utensil to that pan. Oh, absolutely. No matter what you're going to use, metal utensils, it's safe because, again, it's granite stone. It's actually infused into the pan itself. Let's take this and close that up quick, David. Let me take out my frittata because what's cool about it is you can actually cook with or without the cover. Mm -hmm. So here we have vegetables and our fresh egg. Let me grab one more cover. We'll take this off. 300 of these sets are gone. Look at this frittata just come sliding out of the air. Come on, baby. Chef is being careful because they don't want it to end up in the floor. I just wanted you to see how beautiful that is. It really comes out clean. The hardness of this nonstick, it's going to literally last you a very, very long time. And then, David, in honor of my mom. Word. Look at this. What you got in the oven there? I did, and this recipe will be online. It is a put this down here. Thank you, David. Just showing you this is all this cheese is melting and not sticking. What, so, ha what have you here? This I did is a lasagna, but it's broken. You see how that cheese will just lift right off the bottom of the pan? I that. just want to show you the non Even where, it start, where it's starting to get really brown yeah. and crispy. This part here, I fight for in my house. It's yep, my favorite right. part. Favorite, favorite part. Here you go, David. How about a delicious, skillet lasagna. beautiful skillet lasagna? And that's actually done with broken lasagna noodles. Love it. So simple to do. And there was one thing I did want to show here. Real quickly before we wrap up. Absolutely. Cookies. This is our chocolate chip cookie. Giant cookie. So we did this in the skillet. We placed that there. And then ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> there it is. OK, who am I kidding? There it is. Throw some pecans on that. Oh, you did pecans and some kind of syrup, it looks like. Oh, my word. Look at that. Yes. Happy Father's Day, everybody. All right. 500 of these are gone. Is that right? 500 sets are gone. Price goes up end of day. And, sir, happy Father's Day to you. Thank you for having me. Always Appreciate a pleasure to have Thanks, you back. David. We're going to check in with Stacy, who's going to give you an idea of what we've been filling my water mugs with all show long. Uh, yes. Well, if you've been wasting too much money on bottled water because you don't like the taste, 